When I started making my apartment smart a few years ago, my first natural choice was of course a smart speaker. But right after that I got smart light bulbs from IKEA and I think for many people that's the first natural choice when it comes to making their home smart. But in my opinion there's one category of devices which is way more worth your attention than smart light bulbs and these are smart thermostats. So in this video I would like to tell you a bit more about Tado's smart thermostats and my experience after one year of using them. So first of all, Tado is a German company from Munich and they create a bunch of different devices for both heating and cooling solutions. In my case, I have four smart radiator thermostats together with a bridge, which allows me to control temperature in every room in my apartment separately. But Tado also sells thermostats that you can simply mount on your wall and connect to your boiler. Which one you're gonna get depends only on the kind of solution that you have in your home when it comes to heating. As for the devices themselves, I really like their design and I would say they have this Apple-esque design to them and they're very minimalistic. They have a really nice matrix display on top of them so that you can simply see what temperature is right now in your room and you can control everything using a dial on front of the device. The only thing I didn't like that much about smart radiator thermostats is that you have to find the right adapter to put them on your heaters. And in my case it was really hard and I had to go through a lot of different adapters to find ones that match and none of the adapters included in the box worked for me. But maybe in your case it's not going to be that hard, so I wouldn't give up just based on that. The company also has a guide that shows you a bunch of different adapters you might have to buy uh, for your own heaters. And when it comes to smart features, Tado's own app offers quite a lot of them. The most important feature of the system is smart schedule, which allows you to control the temperature in your apartment automatically based on things like time of the day, who is at home, weather outside, and so on. But there's one catch to that. So in order to switch between the home and away mode automatically, you have to have smart assist subscription. Here in Germany, it's three euro per month or 25 euro a year, which is quite a lot considering that you already spent so much money on the thermostats themselves. But there is kind of a workaround to that. So if you bought Tado thermostats before the company released a V3 version of them, you can actually get all of the smart features for free. And that's kind of what I did. I just went on eBay and bought four used thermostats that allowed me to use all the smart features for free. And not only that, but because I got the V2 bridge, I was also able to upgrade to a V3 bridge for free, which allowed me to use Apple HomeKit. And actually, Apple HomeKit might be enough for you to even get the newer thermostats and use all of the smart features together with Apple HomeKit instead of Tado's own app. So of course with Apple HomeKit you can just add your thermostats to scenes and add them also to your automations. So technically you don't even have to use Tado's own geofencing features and you can rely just on what Apple HomeKit gives you, which is also a great feature when it comes to your privacy. And besides all of the smart features and automations, of course you can control temperature just using the home app or you can simply just ask Siri to do that for you. Besides that, Tado's thermostats also feature temperature and humidity sensors and data from those is exposed to HomeKit so you can simply check that in the room's uh, status uh, pane on top of the app or you can also again just ask Siri. So as I said in the beginning of the video I had four of the smart radiator thermostats for almost a year now and I must say I would totally buy them again. They just give you so much convenience when it comes to changing temperature in your apartment and you can completely forget about using uh, dials on your heaters. Tado's thermostats completely eliminated the need for me to adjust the temperature manually and I can simply just leave the home, all the heaters will turn off and when I'll be getting back home, for example from the office, all of the heaters will start raising the temperature right before I get home. And for me that brings me way more value to my life than just getting smart light bulbs where maybe you can adjust the color and temperature of the light, but thermostats actually have a very nice purpose to them. And besides all of that, they can also save you quite a lot of money in the long run. So yeah, if you're planning on being warm this fall and this winter and you want to automate all of that, I would totally get Tado or a similar kind of solution. And I think that if you're looking for an alternative that works really well with Apple HomeKit and doesn't offer a subscription service, then if thermostats are a really nice solution as well, especially if you already have Apple TV or HomePod that you will use as a home hub. If you have any questions about Tado or other Apple HomeKit products, be sure to leave them in the comments down below. And if you'd like to see more videos like this one, be sure to subscribe to this channel. That's it for the video. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.